When we were moving through Exodus, we came across the Old Testament law, an eye for an eye. The law of an eye for an eye limits the kind of retribution an injured party can pursue. According to an eye for an eye, you can only exact as much as it costs you. There can't be any escalation of violence. You can't pay back any more than what was done to you. That's the limit imposed by Moses. But here in Matthew, Jesus fills full the law. And rather than just limit the payback that we seek, Jesus tells us to pay back in a completely different way. When evil is done to us, pay it back with good. So Matthew chapter 5 from verse 38, Jesus says, You've heard that it was said, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Here's what Jesus is saying. He's saying, when you are struck, don't strike back. Take the blow. Don't protect yourself. Expose yourself. Don't lead with justice. Lead with mercy. Don't retreat into safety. Advance into danger. Don't retaliate with strength. Retaliate with weakness. Don't shrink into self-pity, move out in self-giving. Don't insist on your rights, open yourself to wrong. Don't cower in defeat, hold fast in meekness. Don't stand on your dignity, stand on your shame. Don't harden into bitterness, soften into tenderness. Be defiantly peaceable, be immovably vulnerable, be steadfastly gracious, be victoriously wounded. Be like Jesus, who, when we lashed out at him, did not come in violence, nor remain in indifference. He did not strike back, nor shrink back. He did not retaliate, nor harden. He absorbed the blow. And he turned again to us. He upheld his offer, arms outstretched, even to his killers. Especially them. Only them. You, even. There is strength in this weakness. Strength to redeem the world. It begins with surrender, laying down your arms, receiving his peace. It continues with service, following his way, absorbing your own blows today, every day turning your cheek. To this you are called, to be lower than a doormat, far lower. A doormat is passive, but you throw yourself under the feet of your enemies. To be lower than a slave, far lower. A slave walks his allotted mile grumbling in his heart. You walk two miles with a glint in your eyes, for you know the power of this weakness. It reconciles the world. Mm -hmm.